guys, what's up? So, welcome back to my channel. I decided today that I'm gonna have a salad and every time I have salad, I'm like, let's make a video. <laughs> I don't so, know how much of a health it. queen you are? No, I don't know why I do that. I'm like, oh, I want a salad today. Let's make a video. Let's make a mukbang where, this, this is a video I actually wanted to do, but um, I just, I don't know why I never did it yet, but I decided, well, two things. I'll do it while I'm eating and I'll do it with Savannah because- I look like crap because she just spread this on me like 10 minutes ago. Well, I mean, look at me. I have cucumbers, to, it's a vegetarian. You just changed- Cucumbers, tomatoes, granola with yogurt, and banana. I wanted to make this video um, as sort of like a kind, it's not really a part two to my paranormal video, but it's along those lines. I said in that video that I don't believe in ghosts, and I don't. I believe that usually if you're haunted by something, it's like evil, it's a demon. But that being said, I also believe that you can have like guardian angels, like like people who have passed on and then they come back and check on you. Um, and in my case, my mom died um, almost three years ago. And I believe that she has come here at least three times to check on me. Why are you Ooh, sniffing? I'm sorry, it smells really good. It smells like a Capri Sun. Anyway, so yeah. All right, so what was the first one that happened? Okay, so I believe that my mom has visited here at least three times. Mm -hmm. So after she died, and her, her death was very unexpected. She was very young. No one saw it coming. Um, it wasn't like we knew she was sick. We knew she was gonna, it, there was nothing like that. It was just very unexpected. Um, and anyway. I never thought about the timing too. We would have never known if she wasn't supposed to babysit us. Yeah. Yeah, she was supposed to babysit my kids that weekend because it was my birthday weekend. So, <laughs> so the, so, what are you pointing at? You dropped a lettuce. Oh, whoops. Oh, whoops. <laughs> anyway. So, after we, so anyway, she died unexpected. I found her at her apartment. And we, when we cleaned out the apartment, me and my sisters were kind of divvying up who gets what or whatever. And I happened to need a new microwave. So I, I took mom's microwave. And this was in September of 2017. And all the way up until November, that microwave was there. And nothing ever happened. Nothing strange happened. I had two cats and two dogs at the time. And no one, none of the animals looked at it weird. They didn't think anything was up with it. They just thought, they thought nothing. It was just nothing. But around the beginning of November, my cat Cooper, who was three years old, almost four, would stand on the counter directly in front of the microwave staring at it. Mm -hmm. Just staring at it and like doing this, like like something was, like he was watching something. Every day for a long time. Every day for like a week, he was doing this. And it wasn't because it was a brand new microwave in the house and he's like, what's this? Because it had been sitting there for almost two months and, it, and no one cared. And he kept staring at it and staring at it to the point where um, and I have video clips I can put in, but I started filming him. I was like, he's being really weird and he's freaking me out. What is it, Cooper? I was, so then I was like, is my mom 
in the microwave. <laughs> and she's standing in front of the microwave, like, be like, Cooper! And then, like, a week later, Cooper died. Mm -hmm. Cooper was only three years old. And he was really sick. He was sick. He, we For thought a long it, time. Yeah, we thought it was always UTIs, but it wasn't. It, he had a kidney disorder or something. But this thing in my family that's so weird is every time a family member dies, one of our cats dies two months later. This is a theme. We have, like, multiple people die. Like, whenever one person dies, we always expect multiple people die after that. Yeah, we always have clusters. Like, groups of three or something. Yeah. Because right before that was, all in that same year, it was, like, your Uncle Johnny. My uncle died. And Vicky was that year, right? Yeah, my neighbor across the street. Also, the day I found Mom was the one-year death anniversary of my grandma. That's crazy. Yeah. So... Yeah, this is a theme in our in our family where every time someone dies, two months later, one of my cats dies. And so I believe that my mom came here and stole my cat. <laughs> <laughs> Come so, home with me, Cooper. Yep. So then that was weird in and of itself. But then I don't remember even when this happened. The, the other thing, the lipstick. I don't remember. I don't know. The lipstick thing happened early on too. But anyway, there was another day where on that same counter where Cooper was sitting looking at the microwave, that's usually where I set my purse. And I had got out a lipstick and put it on. And I think I like set it next to my purse, but then I heard it fall and I couldn't find it. It was nowhere. <laughs> like, I looked all around the ca the counter, all over the floor, everywhere it could have flown or slid. It was nowhere. It was literally nowhere. I heard it fall, and it wasn't on the counter anymore, but it was nowhere. And you guys were here too, right, when that happened? And I think it was your dad. Yeah, you were. Because your dad goes, I think your mom's trying to hide your lipstick. And it was my husband that mentioned, oh, it was my mom. And then we couldn't find it, so we left. Stop it. We left and went to wherever we had to go. And then um, when we came back, there was the lipstick on the floor directly under where it fell, where I would have seen it. We would have seen it, but it, it we didn't see it. And there it was, right there. She farted. Ew. <laughs> Sorry, no, I didn't mean to interrupt. So anyway... Yeah, that was another weird, weird thing. So that was the second experience where I was like, well, mom's playing a joke on me or something. She hit mm -hmm. my lipstick on her. The third one was the one that really got me emotional. Summertime was mine and my mom's favorite season. And that was when we spent most of our time together was in the summertime. And in... 2018 the very first day of summer break I took my kids to um, a park and at one point for some reason I got out my little compact mirror to I don't know what I was doing I was looking in the mirror at something at myself <laughs> <laughs> and I went to get it out this is the mirror this is the mirror that I got out of my purse and you can see it has a clasp on it that like it takes some force you have to push down on the button to even get it open and you can hear it shut it's loud it locks shut so I took this out of my purse undid it like it was shut undid it and inside of it was this coin and this is called a guardian angel coin it's a catholic thing and my mom gave me like two of these after my grandma died 
and said, it's a guardian angel. So I kept it. And then after my mom died, I took the second one she gave me and I put it in her casket with her. And so she was buried with that one and I still have this one. But when I opened my mirror that day, it was just sitting right here in my mirror. And there was, there was no way this would have gotten in the mirror. Like there's literally no way because you can't like <laughs> you can, it doesn't slide through there there's no way it could have gotten in and it was the very first day of summer break and I was like oh my god I got really emotional I was like took a picture of it immediately I pushed it on Facebook I was like oh my god my mom is here hanging out with us at the park like that's what I believe Is that crazy? I feel like everything kind of connects in a way. It's kind of weird. Like everything in your life like connects. But it was just really weird to me that so many like people died in one year and they were all like close people. Yeah, um, September 2016, only a few days apart, my uncle died and my grandma died. And then September 2017, same month, one year later, my mom died crazy mm -hmm. and two months later my cat died and before that our before neighbor died and the january of she that year was super close with us um mm -hmm. even us because she's babysat me and skylar before when we were younger yeah and she's lived out here as long as we have and, and then the other cluster was my aunt and my grandma died a year apart a few years before that but yeah, this whole, I don't know. And the thing with my mom is just all these little signs of my mom. I feel like she really was here visiting me. I really feel like that. And then I made a joke yesterday that um, we have a bunch of stray cats on our street that we never used to have that problem, but now we do. Three of them like to hang out in front of our house. And those three were born in December of this last year and so they're like six months old um but when I saw those kittens when after they were born like when they were might have been like nine ten weeks old mm -hmm. all I saw was four all black kittens that's all we saw was four all black kittens and all of a sudden with two of them that hang out here are all black but one of them is black and white and she's you can tell she's the same age she's siblings with the other ones they love each other they hang out together but she's she's the one that never leaves my house all the other mm -hmm. other ones will leave our house and, and we go. had never seen her before we had never seen her ever the other ones we would see in, on the street but she came out of nowhere and she's the only one who doesn't leave our house all the other ones will go to other houses and stuff, but she's the only one who doesn't leave. And so yesterday I was joking, like, what if she's my mom? <laughs> well, no. This is how it went down. So, me and my dad left the house the other day, or yesterday or whatever, and we were in the car and he was like, what if Cherokee is what we call her? Did you already say that? I don't know. Yeah, I called her. I what started if, calling her Cherokee. Yeah. He was like, what if she's grandma, like, coming to guard the house and protect mom your dad said that first yeah did you tell me that yeah i did that's I, how the whole thing started he was like what if i don't remember you saying that. he was like what if and he's not the type of person to say stuff like that like mm -hmm. he's kind of a skeptic with that oh, stuff. Yeah. he's not like that he's not believing but that. he was like yeah what if she's like a reincarnation of grandma coming here to protect mom and he was okay so we have a dog next door that attacked my brother and is like we've been trying to get out of the neighborhood for a long time the neighbor is really bad and he says that she goes over there and like taunts the dog and he was like yeah i he was like i wouldn't be surprised if grandma came back to terrorize this dog that's been bothering us to help your mom and your brother and like it was so weird because my dad never says stuff like that like that's no. so weird so i was like really taken like i was thrown off by that but he was like yeah i think it's your grandma and not only that but she told me that butterflies like sig symbolize that your family member to your loved people, one yeah. is there 
and a butterfly came over there a while monarch. we were spending sorry <laughs> while we were <laughs> while we were spending you time with Cherokee. It. A monarch butterfly flew around. Mm -hmm. So I don't know, man. Um, but yeah, I don't. For the record, I do not believe in reincarnation. It's okay if you want to believe in that. I don't care, but I don't believe in that. So mm -hmm. I don't obviously believe that's my mom in a cat's body. I don't believe that, <laughs> but. I feel like it's very strange how this cat was never part of those kittens. It was, n you never saw her anywhere. And then she showed up on our doorstep out of the blue and she's the only one who never leaves our house, ever. Mm -hmm. She also did something that the other ones don't do, which is a few days ago, one of them just had babies. I don't know where they had the babies, but they didn't have them in my yard. Mm -hmm. And, um, the next morning, we were sitting at this table eating breakfast, and outside this sliding glass door, there she was. She was just standing on the patio. I have a fenced-in backyard. No cats. I've never seen any cats jump over that fence and come over here before. There she was standing in the window staring at us, and I thought, well, she's really hungry, so I went out there and tried to hand her food, and she didn't care about it. And she jumped over the fence, kind of halfway over, looked back at us like, you gotta follow me. Mm -hmm. I was like, okay. So we went around to the front and she showed us, we hadn't seen the cat who had the babies for two days. And there was the cat who had the babies starving to death. And she was like, I felt like coming over to say, hey, you need to come feed my sister. She's mm -hmm. hungry. That's how I took it. Cause also like a few days before that, um, she started the Cherokee. She started like running to the side of the house and we were like, what the heck? And she walks right there, and then there's the mom cat right there. She always, like, shows us where she is. Yeah, we'll be like, well, we call her not Victor because we thought it was a boy, and we started calling him Victor, and then we realized that she was a girl and she was pregnant, so we just call her not Victor. And <laughs> we'll be like, Cherokee, where's not Victor? And she will show us where not Victor is at. But, yeah, I feel like somehow my mom sent a, guardian sent a little cat. cat. Yeah, something. Like, oh, I took Cooper. Here's Cherokee. Oh. Sorry, I stole your cat. Here's a new one. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Because she guards our house. She does. She, she follows us around when we walk away. Yeah. If we, well, actually, I, especially you. Well, yeah, she, she follows, follows you. only me. And I can literally walk five steps across the street just to get the mail, and she will follow me to the mailbox. Mm -hmm. She can literally see me from my porch walk across the street and she could very yeah, easily just sit there if she wanted to but she doesn't oh and she also me. with the food thing it was really weird too because every time we feed her and she always steals the food from all the other cats like she just is always like she wants the food but that time it was weird because she didn't like she took two bites mm -hmm. so that's why it was especially strange hi guys Tika's like oh not Victor you're not Victor. Hi, baby. Good mama. Turn. Oh, thank you, not Victor. Cherokee. Cherokee. Not Victor's purring. Oh, not Victor. Oh, good girl. Let go. Really? Cherokee, did you get a toy? You got like. Maybe she likes the string. Oh, Cherokee. <laughs> Cherokee. Oh, baby. Cherokee. Cherokee, baby. Oh, look at you, so sweet. Are you nibbling on me? You cute little muffin. Cherokee, do you like hanging out with me? Do you like hanging out with me? Thank you for the kiss. Oh, just string on me. Oh, I love you too. Thank you. Aww. Little sweetheart. You're purring, huh? Yeah. That's my toe. Hey, this is Tanya from the future. Um, I just am popping in here to say that I hope you enjoyed those little clips of the stray cats uh, on my street, the Cherokee, Fern, and not Victor. <laughs>
um, yeah, we hang out with them every day. So yeah, hope you enjoyed that. These are my little um, mom stories of mom came and visited me after mm -hmm. death. I don't know. I don't know what to title this video at all. I just wanted to come on and tell that story because I don't know why I've been avoiding doing it. Also, you know, when I can put my hair in a ponytail, it's too long. So you can, it's like a little nub. No, can't even see too it. Too long. Look at my hair. I'm just saying, for me, <laughs> this is, it's too long. And also, I'm not wearing a bra. I apologize. Mmm. I almost love salads as much as I do. That's all I wanted to say in this video, so. I guess that's it. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe to my channel. Hi, poopies. I and that's the tea. That's on period, poo. You're if done. you don't subscribe to my channel, a dog is gonna come poop on your head. Just so you know. See you later, guys. Bye. Bye. Bro, I have a messed up stomach. From all the farting to diarrhea, I mean, like, that was diarrhea, by the way. Hey, Yellowish brown. What? What? No, what? what? Mom! Guys, I have bowel movement issues. I have oh, diarrhea. <laughs> Don't go in that bathroom. <laughs> Sorry, I just had the diarrhea really bad. So, so we had this kind of person who um, farts and is very proud of her farts and will mm. waft it up your nose. Just like Colleen, she said in her vlog the other day that she loves... Like, she thinks it's the funniest thing when people smell her farts in me. So yeah, it's the It's same. the funniest thing ever. I, she literally will fart in your face just to just to watch you go. I love oh! people being disgusted by me, I guess. You I don't know. Oh, no. Michael Langan? I just had two really amazing burps, and now I can't get one out. What'd you turn it on for, then, huh? She heard you.